Was I left inside an airless chamber, a vacuum, in my intermittent dreams? The chamber was made of glass panels, suffocating and chilling. Outside, I could see flakes of snow floating in midair. I was losing every bit of myself gradually, my alphabets, my words, my sentences, my paragraphs, my stories. I could no longer breathe inside the chamber. My insides were churning on the verge of a violent vomit. As my eyes closed, I saw my mother, disheveled, running wildly inside the jungle away from me. And then, I saw them coming back to me like hurling rockets. My alphabets, my words, my sentences, my paragraphs, my stories, like colorful graffiti on the end wall. Will I rise up from the ashes? Will I rise up from the ashes? Will I rise up from the ashes? To roam around the bylanes where your fragrance trails through the air, ignoring the perennial mist of squalid dust and soot. Will I rise up from the ashes? Will I rise up from the ashes to swim in the sparkling waters where you have swum, leaving behind your dead cells and the asphyxiation of your supple body in the ripples of the water. Will I rise up from the ashes to fly in a balloon on which we have traveled through the blue sky and white walls of clouds and we have cried together in joy, flying in the air above the shining metropolis. Will I rise up from the ashes? Well, the saucer fell from my hands into a sunless well. Somewhere in the distance, I could hear porcelain breaking on jagged rocks, splintering into tiny million pieces. I glanced at my hands. They were shaking, trembling. My right leg was shaking too. My eyes strained inside the sunless well. Silence and darkness and pungent aroma bubbled like fog from the ancient well. And then, if you concentrated a bit hard, you would hear a few muffled screams rising too. It seemed somebody was being strangled, bones cracking, and there was a struggle. Then I looked behind me. There was a long queue of men and women with asphyxiation written over their faces and trembling saucers in their hands. A moonlight man with a beam of a cane in his hand pointed towards me and announced, You are next. <laughs> <laughs>